hey guys in this video i will show you how you can create tabs like whatsapp so as you can see here uh, we have three tabs uh, the first one is chat status and calls so we will use the tab layout and view pager in this video so here is uh, our tab layout and uh, this is our view pager so if uh, you can change the fragment or tabs here from uh, uh, if you swipe it okay and we can also change it by clicking the tab so open up your android studio and create a new project i have already created a new project here and first of all uh, go to the main activity dot xml and i will remove this text view and also i will change this uh, constraint layout to uh, linear layout okay and uh, also change this linear layout and orientation is vertical okay now i will add the tab layout from here as we are using tab layout and view pager too so our tab layout is added and let me close this so i will change this to web content and i will give an id to this tab layout and i will just move it to tab layout okay so as you can see here we have a green tab layout so to change the tab layout background color simply for background color tab layout i have already defined this color in uh, color.xml i will put these two color in the description below and to change the indicator the tab indicator color simply type tab indicator color okay and i will set it to white and we can also change the selected tab uh, text color so to to change this selected text color it will also be white and we will change the remaining tabs uh, text color to uh, disable color so to change this text as you can see here tab text color and i have color tab unselected so as you can see here this is the unselected color now and we will give an elevation to our view pager uh, sorry tab layout of 5 dp okay and i will change this to chat the second one will be status and the third one calls okay so below here we need a view pager so to add a view pager simply type view pager we will use the view pager too and set it uh, width to match parent and height to match parent also and give an id i will give a view id of view pager too okay so our main activity xml layout is all set and now we will initialize these tab layout simply call it tab layout and view pager 2 view pager 2 okay and i will initialize this tab layout here or dot id tab layout and view pager 2 view pager 2 okay so now as you can see here uh, when we click on status so it goes to the status and when we click on calls it goes to the calls so actually these three are fragments okay so these fragments are changing in the view pager uh, below so we have to add uh, three fragments here so i will add uh, blank fragments here i will call it fragment one you can call it anything you want uh, this is just an example and i will create another one fragment i will name it fragment two okay and last one fragment three and I will change the layout to constraint layout. I remove this text view. I will add a new text view here. 
attach the constraint and now I will change this to jet and also I will give it a text size of 30 sp and I will change this text style to bold okay so now as you can see it looks good I will copy this text view and here change the frame layout to constraint layout and I will pass uh, text view here and click on alt enter to remove this error and change this to status and a fragment 3 also paste the text view here change this to sorry uh, calls and alt enter to uh, add this namespace declaration okay our fragments uh, fragments are ready now we need a uh, adapter for our view pager so click new java class i will uh, name it uh, pager adapter you can name it anything you want okay and this pager adapter extends fragment state adapter okay so uh, now as you can see here we have an error here click on this click on this red bulb and click on implement methods click ok and we have still a red line here so don't worry click on this red bulb again and create a constructor but select the last one okay um, okay so here we have uh, three tabs so return three and here we will use a switch case so right switch first position and in the position we have case one so here one means two because the indexing start from zero so we will return new fragment sorry fragment two because this is index two and case two means index three so we will return new fragment three okay and by default we will return the fragment one fragment uh, one okay uh, new sorry uh, i have to add a new here okay so our pager adapter is ready and we will use it in our main activity but first we need a fragment manager fragment manager i will call it simply fm get support fragment manager and here i will create a variable for our adapter so pager adapter sorry pager adapter i will name it uh, pager adapter and i will initialize it here pager adapter new pager adapter i will pass the fragment manager as you can see here uh, the fragment manager and lifecycle is uh, required so i will pass fm and this is our fragment manager and get lifecycle okay now i have to add this uh, pager adapter to our view pager so to add this view pager dot set adapter set adapter and pass this pager adapter here okay now if we uh, if we run our application As you can see here we are clicking on tails but nothing's happened and if I swipe so oh, let me change this calls fragment 3 okay we have to change this to constraint layout okay now it's good and also if you want to change this uh, toolbar color so go to values themes or style and change this primary color to tab layout color the dark green one and also change this tab layout 
okay so now we will add a click listener to our tab layout to add a click listener tab layout dot add on tab selected listener sorry not a click listener okay so on tab select listener and uh, we have to add a view pager dot uh, set current item and we will pass the tab dot get position okay so if we if we click on this status so it will uh, it will set the view pager to this position the uh, one position so it will brings up the status uh, or the second fragment here if i click on chat so nothing's happen okay so now if i run application And if I click on status and as you can see here uh, we have a color of green and if you want to remove this uh, elevation from this toolbar so you can use the custom toolbar here and uh, now if I click on status so it goes to the status and if I click on call so it goes to the calls fragment and if I swipe this so and as you can see if I swipe so the indicator is still here and we are uh, we are on the chat uh, fragment so to move this indicator with swipe we have to add uh, view pager dot register on page uh, change callback okay so I will minimize it and new on change and select the second one this one on page selected okay select this and below here set the tab layout because we are changing the tab indicator so tab layout dot select tab select tab and here pass the uh, sorry tab layout dot get tab it and here pass the position okay and now if i run my app okay uh, now if i swipe this so as you can see here the indicator is also moving and if i click on calls so it goes to the calls status chat and if i swipe it calls status chat so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video so share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so subscribe to my channel and click on uh, bell icon to get notification of new uh, upcoming videos